The goddess really changed things up for this meditation. She began while we were all present in our everyday reality to have us expand our consciousness into the collective consciousness. When we first expanded into the space, my perception was of various waves of energy. To me, they had different colors and moved at different speeds. The higher the frequency, the lighter the color and the faster it moved. When we connected in this space she asked us to take stock of where we were, and what was around us. She then said, look up, then look down. This way, your perception of the different levels gave you more information. This was a very dramatic impact showing all the changes taking place on Earth. I remember that when I first connected with the collective consciousness in the late 90s or early 2000s, it was very dark, turbulent, heavy and in some places immovable. Therefore, this is a reflection of the massive changes that have taken place. This gives us a chance to understand how the collective consciousness is influencing our lives and how we can work with it to help keep it clear, but also find a greater balance. We also worked with the energy of the collective consciousness of the All That Island. My first perception was that I couldn't disannear what it looked like. The vibration was so high that all I could see or sense was clear energy, with sparkles. I'd see the sparkles, have a sense of white, then it would be clear. It was truly beautiful. I could also perceive how some people struggled with perception. The goddess helped them to remove barriers, and open to greater perception there were some people who sensed this energy as source code which is what takes us to next level energetically. All in all, a truly powerful experience. Dash Namasika, Venia Benya I am the one, I am the whole I greet you, beloved family. I reach out as always, from my heart to yours. I reach out during these times we have together to take it as an opportunity to not only strengthen my alignment within each one of you, but to strengthen my alignment with all of humanity. I invite you to consider for a moment, almost as if there is a heartbeat or a pulsation, that is intrinsic within you. You might consider it your own heartbeat. However, I speak of the heartbeat of consciousness. We speak frequently about your own consciousness and the expansion of that, of taking what is unconscious into the conscious. Of tapping into your soul through your consciousness. It is your consciousness and your alignment with your soul that makes you the unique human being that you are. So, pause for a moment and feel the heartbeat of the consciousness that is within you. It may feel different than your physical heartbeat, but it is a pulsation of life that is moving within you. As you feel it, beating within you and vibrating within you, use it in this now moment to reach out as if you send threads of energy and light that go from you into the collective consciousness that flows throughout your world. As you do this, especially while grounded like this, I invite you to pay attention to where you align within this collective consciousness. I will speak to you of the manner of our perception. However, be aware that your own perception may be different. And so whatever resonates with you is what you should pay attention to. As we align, what we see are as if they are horizontal vibrating threads of energy. The perception that we had through Shelley's consciousness when she connected into this was moving through many, many layers and aligning at the higher end of this consciousness. Some of those layers may have different colors. They may have different tones. They may vibrate in wide vibrations or narrow. So. Pay attention for a moment to where you feel your own vibration and your own conscious alignment within this collective consciousness. Look up. Is there even more that is up above you? Open and let the flow of any higher frequency come into your space and it may help you to expand even further. Look down. As we look down, it may seem like some of these are chaotic. It doesn't have the same smooth rhythm. It may be that it beats at a different vibration. Make a conscious choice that whatever you have opened up to that is up higher than your frequency and where you are right now and let it flow down into the lower vibrations and frequency. As it does so, it smooths out the pattern until this broad spectrum of energy is vibrating in balance with one another. You can hear it. Some of you may hear as if it's the angelic music that you sometimes hear. 
Some of you may hear tones. Some of you may see pulses of energy. Allow your focus and your concentration to be within this space because this is what is around your planet right now. Find your balance. And as you do so, then let that trickle down into wherever you are in this now moment. And while we're still here within this space, can you feel how broadly expanded you have just created for yourself? We did this in just a few minutes. If you find yourself feeling very imbalanced, then just take these few minutes. Ask to connect with wherever you are right now. Look up, look down, and create an open flow, there is always a rhythm. The Schumann frequency is being talked about more and more consistently, and that gives you a visual of how all of this is changing. Do you remember the days when you thought the frequency was so high at 26 and 24? And now it hits 80, 85, 100. I wanted you each to be very aware of just how powerful you are. I want you to understand how much you are doing for this planet. You, of course, create changes and help yourself first and foremost. But you are also assisting the entire planet with this ascension. Sometimes you may find yourself focusing on helping to clear a specific instance or group of people, but other times it's the consciousness. So, breathe into this moment. Breathe the balance of the consciousness down within your heart center and allow it to move throughout your physical body. Feel how your physicality balances in response to this vibration. Feel what it is to expand into your emotional and mental energy bodies. For some, it may seem as if that alignment that you've just created shifts into a different vibration and frequency as you connect with your mental and your emotional bodies. So, I would therefore say find the highest frequency, find the balance, and let it flow upwards and down, in and out, creating balance within you. Feels good, doesn't it? This is another way in which you can let go of other people's experiences. So often as light workers, whether you are aware or unaware, you are taking on other people's vibrations, their frequency. Maybe you're going into that lower vibration of the collective consciousness and then letting that come down and be a part of you. Look up, look out, look down, and balance all. You feels wonderful, does it not? You have cleared out in your everyday reality, things that no longer serve you because you are working with them. That is the consciousness of your human experience. It's a beautiful thing. Take this moment as you are here already in this expanded state and create that ball of light, send it down into the earth plane, and let's take a moment and ask to connect with the consciousness of Gaia. We just did the frequencies and the consciousness that is the earth and humanity and what is within your atmosphere and your energy. But let us see, is Gaia different? or is she all part of the same? So, we send our energy down into Gaia. And as you spread it out in different directions, ask to connect with the consciousness of Gaia. It's right there, is it not? Our perception is that as we connect with the consciousness of Gaia, it is very much a part of the high frequency. And as we're connecting and looking around this space, we can see there are some of those lower frequencies, but they are dissolving, disappearing, and being absorbed in the higher frequency as we pay attention to that. The expanded consciousness is coming up within you is filling with the energy and expanding. Let all of that come back within you in the human. This time, follow that thread of your own energy that goes up into your higher self. So, while the energies of your higher self may be aligned with portions of the collective consciousness, it is separated because this is just you. This is just you in your higher vibration. This is just you that is the blend of your soul and your human experience. Look around, look around at all that is here within your higher self. Because we connected with the collective consciousness. Your perception of your higher self may be a little bit different. You may have already cleared out what no longer works for you. You may see that some of those projects are what you seek to manifest, are in alignment with different aspects of the collective consciousness. Here is a place for you to create. You automatically flow up and down most often through your unconsciousness. 
but within this space. Let that thread of energy move even further. As you expand up into the soul plane, you may have a sense of feeling as if you release, as if you go through. And now that collective consciousness that you were looking at is below you as you shift into a higher frequency. You may notice various aspects that are still in alignment with the collective consciousness, but for the most part, we are at a frequency in alignment that is associated more so with the universe than with the earth plane. As you feel your energies coming into space with your divinity, open up that doorway and walk within. As you move through this space, you can see around you that which is your soul. Allow your focus and your consciousness to merge fully with all the many aspects that are here. But once again, that part of you that is God, that part of you, that is the direct link into the almighty love, light and essence that created all soul essence. Feel that pulsation, feel that frequency. You have the perspective that you were just aligned with and use that as a reference for this. For some, it's as if that pulsation has gone beyond into something that is beyond what you are able to perceive. But you know, you know that you are a part of this. It's beautiful. It's infinite. It is all of you. I, the goddess, walk in and amongst all that are here. As our energies merge together, it shifts everyone into the All That Island. Look around at the All That Island. Look around at what is here. Just as there was a consciousness to the Earth Plane. So too, there is a consciousness to the All That Island. So, open up your awareness, feel that alignment. For many of you, it's a perception of not being able to discern a sound, a frequency, a light or things such as what you had on the earth plane. It is simply something different, and this is part of what goes along with that. As you ask to become aware of the consciousness of the all that is, open up to know your own. Originally you were able to feel your own assignment, alignment not assignment. You knew your own alignment when you were on the earth plane, and you could see that interaction with the other levels of consciousness. For now. Open up. To know. What is the consciousness of your divinity? What I see for many of you is that it takes on colors, light, threads of energy that are now able to be discerned. And it's almost as if it makes this kaleidoscope of color. It's as if it's moving and changing and flowing so that this is how to represent your soul. Your soul is ever present. It is always moving. It is always interacting with the various lifetimes that you are experiencing some out within the universe, others around the earth plane. But all of it creates that beautiful essence that is you. So even if your human self may sometimes give you a hard time maybe being judgmental, maybe being rigid or narrow-minded, in this now moment, as you are here in the all that is, release any barriers of any sort and ask to see that picture that is your soul. Some we see a shape as if a human. Some we see various interactions of light and movement. Others it's as if it's a blank slate. But for those that have that perception, I invite you to roll the window shade up or open the doors and look behind that shade. If your perception of your soul is limited, then allow yourself the opportunity to take in as much of it as you can. As you align with whatever that may be, you will notice, oh, there's a little bit more, oh, let's look over here. There are times in which your consciousness is careful not to overwhelm you with too much information. So, you get that small that gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Your consciousness includes your intelligence. It includes your soul. It includes massive amounts of knowledge and information, experiences, be them, your own, or sometimes other aspects of you. It also includes everything that you've learned and experienced in this lifetime. Have the blend of that, which is the vast awareness merge with your everyday reality so that your perceptions of everyday life can transition allowing you to grow even more. Can you hear the beat of the frequency from the all that is in its alignment with your soul? I'm now hearing it become louder and louder and louder for people because you are opening up. Sometimes the question or rather the statement, you just don't know what you don't know is very true. If you choose to learn more, then open up your consciousness, 
and receive information that comes to you directly through your divinity, that comes from you, from the collective conscious and awareness of others and of the universe. The ever-present in this high light frequency. Consider wherever you may be in your daily life right now. How can this consciousness assist you? Emotionally open that you may feel excitement about your potential. Excitement about what is happening or perhaps feel an expansion of love. Mentally, are there things that you need to know, perhaps things that you need to accomplish in your life? And as all of this is moving through, feel what it's doing for you. You are the person that has accomplished everything you've done in your life. The things that make you frustrated, the things that make you mad or sad, the things that make you thrilled and excited, the things that make you feel expanded. It is all a part of this lifetime. You now can shine the light of your own expanding consciousness into everything that is you. And in some cases, things may transition, they no longer serve you. Things may move into a higher potential and take you in a new direction. You may simply understand who you are and why you are wherever you may be, and feel the acceptance that all is well. As we feel that vibration and frequency moving through you. I can still sense people want to fight that, they do not want to accept that all is well because it is not well. They don't want to be where they are. They don't want to be stuck anymore. So. Whatever that is that is resistant within you, bring it up as if it's there in front of you. Perhaps you visualize yourself in particular situations and then bring that higher consciousness into it. Let it swirl through it. Let it break down those barriers that have kept you stuck. Breathe it out. Clear it out. Yes, yes, you can let that go. Yes, you can open to these greater potentials. They are equally yours as where you see yourself right now. Feel the love. Feel the expansion. Feel the acceptance. Sometimes it might be hard to accept that you can do these magical things in your life. It might be hard to accept that you are this massive person living your life having these experiences. But now, receive. Perhaps that is a part of your journey is, learning to receive so that you may have all that you seek. Yes, indeed, receiving is truly an important aspect of life. In order for you to accept all of your potentials, you have to receive that truth within you, perhaps through your mental body, your emotional, perhaps through your spiritual consciousness. It is here for you. I invite you to gather around. I still like to create that circle of people and light as you create this and you look beside you. Do you recognize people that are around you? Do you perhaps see some of the non-terrestrials that are also here working in this energy? Be open and feel all of what this is. You see that essence of the earth, the hologram come up within. You've already connected to the collective consciousness. So therefore, what is your perception as you look at the hologram, you may notice that it is actually linking and integrating with all of you. It's no longer something separate in the center. It is now connected and integrated into all that are here as a part of this. You send that energy out into the universe. It is gathered up and integrated by some of the ships that are working with humanity. It moves through some of the consciousness of the universe and that remainder, instead of it being the hologram going down, it's as if this wave of energy goes down and it moves through everything within the earth. You can still feel when you go into the collective consciousness once more because that was just a part of it that came up. So, allow for all of this to shift and expand around the planet, helping to stabilize those higher frequencies and helping to clear out the lower. The remainder goes all the way down into the center of the planet. And as it does so, it anchors within the crystals, the rocks, and the space. It reflects outward coming up through all the many many layers of the planet coming up through each individual. And you are receiving your own expanded balance and awareness. As you anchor it within you, you reach up and allow the remainder to come back down through your soul. You can feel how your everyday reality expands. As you allow for that thread of energy and light to come back down through your higher self into your physical reality. 
Once again tap into that vibration or that frequency that is you. Feel the beat of your consciousness. Is it faster? Is it slower? Is it the same? Know who you are, as your consciousness. Understand that you are intrinsically related to all of humanity. You're intrinsically related to the trees, the animals, Gaia, everything has a consciousness that comes together and you can feel what that is. Within your days and weeks to come understand that your own alignment in your everyday reality will continue to grow and expand. You have an absolute impact upon the collective consciousness, even if only doing your own meditations and prayers. Let this be a time in which your own personal growth is moving into all that is taking place upon your planet, upon the earth, knowing that your own growth assists other people. So too, other people's growth can impact yours. Be comfortable in receiving love light support from those around you. You know that you are never alone. I am ever with you. And say you yeah.